Hello, this is Rick from Marksware. Most of you know Flight Check as a professional tool to check more than 50 file formats. But today I'd like to show you a function of Flight Check that you might not know about, which is the use of this application to compare documents. On my desktop, I've received a folder containing documents and illustrations. We see illustrations, but also TWO Quark documents, Rome 1 and Rome 2. Both time flags are set to 3.45 p.m. and the size of the file doesn't give me any conclusive information either, which makes it difficult for me to see which document should be used for production. Opening these files doesn't help too much either because both documents look the same on the screen. Going through the pages, there isn't really a lot that would determine which document is better for output. Now, of course, there's two different ways to figure this out. Manually, for instance, we can go back to the document folder, select an image, and open it up in Photoshop. If we go to the image menu, we can check the color mode, which is, in this case, CMYK, and thus correct. From the image size window, however, this is a bit more complicated. We see the resolution of 72 dpi, but the image is pretty big. It could possibly be scaled in Quark. Furthermore, if this document contains several hundred images, this is not the way to check your document. So what do we do? We use Flight Check. By going back to the folder containing the document, and instead of selecting only one document as we're used to doing, we now select both Quark documents and drag them both at the same time into the Flight Check icon. As usual, when working with Flight Check, the application starts immediately. It checks Rome 1, directly followed by Rome 2. The result is a combined result page in Flight Check. When we take a closer look at the result page, we see, for instance, that the document Rome 2 contains non-CMYK colors. We also see that RGB images are used in Rome 2. But when we look at the hairline warning, we see that Flight Check reports both Rome 1 and Rome 2. When we take a look at the individual reports of both documents, we can clearly see that Rome 1 basically has no errors and only shows the warning for the use of a hairline, where the document 2 contains a lot of errors. It's very clear that the document Rome 1 is the document I should use for output. Knowing this, we switch back to the finder and mark both documents. Rome 1 is the right document. Rome 2 should not be used, clearly marked by green and red coloring. Now isn't it good to know that Flight Check can also assist you in this important task? For Marksware, this is Rick, signing off.